what's up guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today i'll be showing you how to download a high resolution uh, satellite image and uh, the software that we'll be, we'll be using today is called uh, susplanet so uh, the first thing you need to do is to download the software it's actually uh, a very small software and uh, just open uh, your favorite browser and type in susplanet this planet is S S A then planet and then hit enter so you'll see uh, these numerous links but uh, I'll advise you to go for the one two three for the fourth link which is https as to www dot land geo com and uh, I'll, I'll include the link on the description below you just click on it and uh, then just scroll down and uh, download this stable version uh, it's actually it was published on 2020 I think it's 2020 version so just download it okay so this is the download page and it's 13.72 uh, mbs it's quite small so just click download and uh, it'll take like two minutes depending on the speed of your internet so in the meantime let me uh, create a folder where I actually store this particular software I have specific folder for GIS softwares so I already had a 2019 version but because I wanted to do this video just show you step by step how to download and install So the download is complete. Presume the download is complete, and uh, normally when you download a file from a uh, internet, it automatically is stored in the download folder. Just open your file explorer and go to on your left hand side. You'll be able to see this particular folder downloads under this PC. And uh, we expand. So this is the it's a compressed file. So I'm just going to cut Control X, and I'm going to paste it in my folder that I already prepared. So this is the, the zip file. So you're going to right click and uh, extract it right here. And if you don't have the winter or extract uh, software, I have a video on how you can download this particular software. We just extract in that particular folder. Then you see now the extracted uh, folder. Just open the folder, use the that folder again. So now in, you have all these files, and the specific file that you're interested in is this particular .ex uh, file. This is planet.ex. So I'm just going to right click and uh, paste it. Uh, on the taskbar like that 
so we're supposed to so and it's right here uh just being pinned on the taskbar uh again you can just can uh place it on a different place that you feel you can easily access it so now we have our sas planet right here or what we can do let me just go back and show you softwares uh, GA softwares and you can just double click you can click on the uh pinned program software right that i've just pinned you can just click on it or you can choose to double click from these folders where you have this .tx file just double click on it although i already have uh, it pinned in the taskbar you can choose to click just click on the one that is pinned so just give it time so the first time let me maximize so the first time when we open the sas planet program this is how it appears you can drag around you can zoom in so uh you need to do a few settings before you start using it first thing we need to confirm is the language make sure that it's in english or whichever language that you want then another thing uh can do is to change the appearance uh, this I, I i get this open street i don't want that just go to this particular layer or tab is called selected base let's choose this base map and change that to uh, go to satellite then the satellite just choose google Hy hybrid ruhd so this one will give you a very high resolution uh, satellite image so then you can just okay the next the next tab is uh, select overlay layers we're going to change the labels uh, labels and boundaries just go to overlay layers and go to labels and boundaries and under labels and boundaries uh, click on s3 arcgis online hybrid that one now you are ready to download your image so you can just type uh, choose you can search the place that you want to acquire a map from just going to type in my area of interest And make sure that uh, you are under search, not place mark or coordinates. If you have coordinates, you can just click on coordinates and type in whatever coordinates that you have. But for this particular map, uh, for my case, I'm going to just use the search tab and type in my area of interest. And again, the next, this uh, next uh, tab, make sure that you choose. Uh, open street map osm click on it and uh, just click go to so this is the place so you can just zoom in sufficiently until you are now able to to see the place that you want And uh, 
definitely you can see that the image is of very high resolution. Now from here, uh, the next step that I want to show is to how to wire this particular image. So uh, what we need to do uh, is to go and uh, let's click on this uh, icon. I believe it's called Snap to Active. Click on this download, uh, download arrow and select rectangular selection. Rectangular selection. And your cursor uh, should have that small white square. And you can just drag. Just let me just click and uh, move your cursor the action that you want. Then just click. Just left click. So that's the area that I want to download. Then, so under downloads, you need to do some settings. So the zoom, you need to choose the maximum zoom. And I'll go for 24. So, zoom 24 will give you the maximum uh, uh, image resolution. And then, under stitch tab, now this is where the trick is, uh, you don't need to download uh, the JPEG because it will not give you a uh, reference image. So just click on, J on that particular output format and choose GeoTIFF. So, and uh, choose the projection. And I'll go for WGS 1984. Uh, this one. Then uh, format. You need to choose TIFF. T I W F. Uh, another thing, if you want this best uh, mask to appear in your uh, image you can choose and click on add visible place marks and we can also add visible grids all those so go to generate you also zoom to 19 and uh, export 24. So go back to stitch and uh, now we are ready to download. So under save to click on this three dotted box to choose the place where you want to save your map. So this uh, the place that I want to save this particular image. I'm going to right click and uh, create a folder for image. I'm going to give it a name. Just go and give it image. And make sure that it's GeoTIFF. So click save. And I start. So it's going to take. Uh, it's actually completed. Putting the image. So I'm just going to minimize that. And uh, open your ArcG software. 
you need to add your particular image so add your intuitive image uh, create pyramid just say yes now you have your image and you can see it's a very high resolution satellite image you can do whatever you want with this particular image you can you can uh, perform your processing you can do uh, digitization uh, and you can, you can see as we hover around you can see the coordinates changing dynamically uh, simply because it's actually dereferenced so under type of content you can just right click on this image layer check the coordinate system information just right click and go to properties so under source tab is where you find the projection and the coordinate system information so as you scroll down to special references you'll be able to see this uh, special references you can be now be able to see the coordinate system information and ours is uh, geographic coordinate system WGS1984 so uh, that's how you can acquire a high resolution satellite image for free. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe. Uh, give this video a like. See you in the next tutorial.